seven segments is a display that consists of seven individual LEDs packaged into one. The seven segment displays have a common connection, while the rest of them are connected individually to a controller, which activates or deactivates each segment. There are two types of seven segment display. These are called common anode and common cathode. In the common anode, the common connection is hooked up to a 5 volt supply. The rest of its pins are then hooked up to a controller, in this case to a microcontroller, and to turn on each segment, the pin has to be driven low. In the common cathode, the common pins are tied to ground, while the others are connected to a controller. To turn on these segments, the pin should be driven high. By illuminating each individual segment of a 7-segment display, one can display a variety of numbers or characters. For example, to display the number 5, one has to illuminate segments A, F, G, C, and D. And to display another character or number, another set of segments needs to be turned on. To be able to use either a common cathode or a common anode display, it requires seven separate segment connections, plus an additional connection for the display's common connection. Sometimes, the use of these many connections is impractical for some microcontroller-based circuits due to pin limitations. So in order to reduce the number of lines interfacing with a single 7-segment display, display decoders such as BCD to 7-segment decoder are used instead. Unlike the common anode or common cathode display, the process of displaying characters on a BCD to 7-segment display is different. It uses the BCD or binary coded decimal numbers to display specific numbers. BCD numbers are generated using 4 bits, or known as NIVL. This is similar to hex numbers, with a difference that it can only range from 0 to 9. Binary patterns from 1010 to 1111 are treated as invalid input and are not used. So for a BCD input of 000, we get a 7-segment output of 1111110, which is the number 0. Now that you have covered up the basic of the 7-segment display, let's go ahead and interface it with a PIC 16F877A. The first segment we will connect is a common anode display, which has a common pin that will be connected to VDD or a 5-volt supply. The rest of its pins will then be connected to the microcontroller. The second to connect is the common cathode display. The common pin is connected to the ground while the rest of the pins are connected to port C of the microcontroller. And the last is the BCD to 7 segment display, which we will be connecting to port D. Now that everything is in place, let's go ahead and create the source code. Our goal here is to display numbers from 0 to 9 simultaneously on the three 7 segment displays. First, let's define the values that we will need to assign to each port that will display each digit. Each segment of the 7-segment display is assigned the following characters, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. So if we want to display digit 0, letters A, B, C, D, E, and F should be illuminated. If this is a common anode display, all illuminated segments are pulled low by the microcontroller. Lit segments should be assigned bit 0. Putting it all together, we then have C0 in hex. For the common anode display, we will expect to have the following values, arranged in incrementing order in the array. For the common cathode display, each segment will illuminate if its pin is held high. Using the same method as the common anode display, but reversing the bit value, we generate the following table. For BCD, we only have to use hex definition from 0 to 9, and this is what we generated. Now that the digit definitions are in place for the different displays, let's define the main function. 
set point B, point C, and point B as output and assign initial values. Then create an infinite while loop. It will contain a delay of 500 milliseconds before proceeding to display the next defined digit. After 500 milliseconds times out, it then increments the counter, making sure that it does not go beyond the defined digits. The final part of the while loop is to assign the new digit value to the selected point. We are now finally ready to build the program and load the hex to the microcontroller. Here is the output of the program. What do you think of this video? Be sure to let me know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more videos and updates. Thanks for watching!